Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about treatment of what might be called triple positive breast cancer. It's not a term you'll see in the literature, but what I mean by that is how do we treat breast cancer that is positive for the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, and the HER2 protein or oncogene? How do we treat that? Well, this type of cancer is, it's, an, it's complicated because it has both the HER2 on it and hormonal receptors. So what I mean by complicated is that there are actually two different personalities. Some of these tumors can be more active and more likely to recur without any treatment, and others are exquisitely sensitive to treatment. Now that we have HER2-directed therapy, along with hormonal therapy and, in some people, chemotherapy, the HER2 protein, or overexpression of the gene, is actually not the frightening thing it used to be in the past. So when we first discovered HER2, we identified these tumors as much more likely to recur. Now that we have HER2-directed therapy like trastuzumab and other drugs in the same family, the prognosis is actually much better. And many of my patients, I would say most of my patients with this particular type of cancer are doing well many, many years later. So if they have advanced disease, they're still alive, sometimes for decades later. And for people with early stage disease, we are very able to cure these cancers. And in fact, in some people with lower stage disease, like stage one disease or stage two disease with you know, one positive lymph node, we actually give less chemotherapy. So I'll spend a moment talking about de-escalating of therapy now. De-escalating is the philosophy that we want to treat people with as little therapy as they need. So while you may want everything that's out there, you also don't want to get treatment that's not needed because then you're getting no benefit and lots of harm. So in HER2 positive disease, that's positive for the estrogen receptor and usually the progesterone receptor. So what we are calling for the purposes of this video, triple positive disease, we can actually give less chemotherapy along with HER2 directed therapy and see the same kind of benefit we would see with lots of chemotherapy with its side effects. So I'm not wanting to celebrate that you need chemotherapy or that chemotherapy is part of your treatment plan, but we are getting smarter about who needs the full court press, combination therapy with two or three chemo agents, and who might be able to benefit from one chemotherapy drug along with HER2 directed therapy. So in early stage, HER2 positive, hormone receptor positive breast cancer, we can give less chemotherapy than we used to in the past, and that's really good news. We will also recommend, of course, that you have endocrine therapy or therapy directed at the estrogen and progesterone receptors, and that can be given along with HER2-directed therapy. So normally we don't give endocrine therapy with chemotherapy, and I'm not saying that we should in your case, but we can give, when you're getting just the HER2-directed therapy, you can actually start on your endocrine therapy once chemotherapy is done. In advanced disease, we can give hormonal therapy and HER2-directed therapy and perhaps not even need chemotherapy or start with chemotherapy, and then you can take a break from chemotherapy and just be on the HER2-directed therapy. In terms of surgery and radiation, those treatments aren't going to differ according to the level of estrogen receptor or the fact that the tumor is estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive, and HER2 positive. Those treatment decisions are independent of the tumor biology. So I hope this is helpful. I've covered a lot. If it has been helpful, click subscribe. That'll help you see other videos that we're putting out and we're always putting out new content. 
If you click like, that helps other people just like you find this video. You can go to yerba.com and get your personalized report. And as always, drop us a comment or a question below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.